hundreds of thousands of bats have died in the northeast region of the United States. According to some experts, the death toll is close to a million. The bats are succumbing to a disease called white nose syndrome, with a white fungus appearing on the nose, ears, and wings of the bats. Tom Coons is an authority on bats at Boston University. It's really unknown exactly what uh, is causing the condition, but in addition to the white nose, uh, by midwinter these animals have lost most of their body fat. In the northern regions, bats hibernate in caves and mines during the winter. They accumulate fat during the warmer months and use those reserves in winter. If they wake before the winter is over, they consume body fat and risk dying of starvation, as some of Kunz's pictures show. Many of these bats who have, have white nose have lost uh, all of their body fat by mid-February. And, and they, they arouse, they go out and fly around. They're, people have seen them flying around when there's snow on the ground. There's nothing to eat in the winter. Uh, their wings become uh, damaged through frostbite. There are more than 1,000 bat species, and they perform an essential service to the ecosystem, from pollinating to suppressing the insect population. These infrared videos were taken on a warm night by Kunz and Nikolai Hirschdorf in central Texas, where the largest bat communities are found. We've shown that they can eat in a given night uh, anywhere between one half to their entire body weight of nighted insects. That converts into about 630 tons of insects that those million uh, bats would, uh, would eat. If we don't have them, those insects are still going to be out there. And many of them are crop pests, they're garden pests. Without the bats, it means that, that farmers, in order to maintain their economic advantage, they're going to throw pesticides on, out. And pesticides would cost millions of dollars and have an impact on the environment and human health. By the middle of May, when the number of dead bats became clear and the disease was spreading south, the U.S. government's Fish and Wildlife Service convened a meeting in West Virginia. The scientists, park services, and biologists who came debated what to do next. So this means the bats no longer infectious. Mary Parkin is with the northern region of the Fish and Wildlife Service. We recognize, you know, what, that this truly is a biological crisis. And uh, because it's spreading so fast at an alarming rate. Parkin says experts recognize the gravity of the situation, but so far all they have is hypotheses about the illness and how it's transmitted. They know that if it continues to spread, some species could face extinction. In January, the government barred humans from entering caves in the affected areas in a bid to stop the infection from spreading among bats. White nose syndrome is now in nine states, and there is a concern it could spread to the Midwest, where huge bat colonies live alongside agricultural areas. Latest reports indicate the fungus is already present in Canada. For producer Zulima Palacio, I'm Carol Pearson, VOA News. Yet people generally don't understand them. They've gotten a lot of bad publicity. They, uh, a lot of uh, misconceptions, uh, getting tangled in your.